we're out here with planted earth. If you see this bright pink color, that's what you need to think of. Mandy Castillo here. I mean, we have the same last names. I almost want to call you my cousin, Happy even though we just met. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mandy, I'm so excited to have you here because Thank I've you. definitely been seeing this pink truck around. Uh, planted earth, what inspired it? Um, actually, it was just my love for plant-based foods and fresh foods, and we really don't have an option for acai bowls and smoothie bowls here in El Paso. So instead of traveling to go get them, um, figured why not open one here in El Paso so everybody else can enjoy it. And how the challenges that you have mentioned a little bit about how you had the VW uh, van that you got started with and then you bought a second one and now there's this one. But it's been a little bit of a challenge being able to replace those vehicles. And tell me about what inspires you to keep going and kind of... Um, uh, take those challenges and, and turn them into something successful? Honestly, um, five years ago, I was a teacher for SISD, and doing this, I wanted to do it because it allows me the freedom to have my own schedule, I can be at home with my family, and there are several challenges with starting your own small business in El Paso, but it's the freedom. It's the freedom to do what you want and, and give back to the community that kind of just keeps me going. And honestly, we've been really successful. The community loves what we do. So financially, the challenges that are set, we're able to meet them just because we have such huge support from our following. What are some of uh, people's favorite dishes when they come to you? What do they like to order? And also, I want you to mention a little bit about the dog bowl. So the best seller, definitely, I guess El Paso loves chocolate. The Choco Acai is one of the top selling ones, as well as the Tsunami, the Berry Berry, and the Tropic Like It's Hot. Um, the really popular bowl for animals is the Bark Bowl. We do a custom Bark Bowl for all your furry friends, um, and it comes with peanut butter, banana, and a little bit of our homemade granola, and that is an absolute favorite for the dogs. Which one's the one we have right here at the window? The one we're making for you all is the Tsunami. So it has mango, banana, coconut milk, and some pineapple with our homemade granola, and then fresh fruit toppings, pineapple, banana, and a little bit of coconut on top. And it also does have blue spirulina, which is good for your hair and your skin and your nails. I need to try that yeah. because, you know, I'm always looking for something to right. take care of the hair and, and nails, of course, you know. Um, oh, I see the banana there. I love seeing on your Facebook, on your Instagram, these posts of these amazing snacks that just look Instagram worthy, right? It's a, it's a perfect word. And then this coconut on top. It's a whole mm. meal. Definitely a whole meal. A, a whole meal, so you want to replace a, a, a regular, I, I just feel um, it's, it's going to be filling, is what you're yes, telling me. I, I definitely w want to find out. So who came up with these creative names? Um, I did. <laughs> yeah, just messing around, something that sounds fun, that people want to say, um, just something kind of quirky and summery. And um, yeah, so this is our Tsunami Bowl. And the color inspired the name for this one. I love it. I'm going to try it out here. Um, and we'll come back in the next half hour. And uh, Carla's going to talk to you a little bit more about what you put in these bowls that will make a full meal. We'll be right back.